Today I will show you our trip to an animal park in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and we will go on a safari tour together with you. Democratic Republic of the Congo, or DRC in short, is a very green country located in Central Africa. We left Kinshasa, the capital of the country, early in the morning. The distance from Kinshasa city center to the national park where we were going is just 57 kilometers, but because of the huge amount of traffic in the city, it took us almost two hours to get there. The weather was cloudy in the morning, but still we were lucky that it didn't really rain. Just a few drops fell down, because usually when it rains in Kinshasa, it looks like this. So it was even nice that the weather was not too hot. We went to the park together with my colleagues on our day off. Our company organized this trip and we had a local driver from our company. We were the first ones to arrive to the park. There were literally no people there. We had our safari tour scheduled for 10 o'clock in the morning, but it didn't start at that time. We had to wait for more than one hour until more people arrived to join the safari tour. So we waited at the cafe located on the territory of the park. And also roamed at the territory around the cafe that was also nice and green with lots of different animals. We paid for the entrance to the territory of the park $10 per person, and we got the entrance wristband. For safari trip we got another wristband, and it cost additionally $20 per person. It was surprising for us to see even donkeys here. Llamas were super cool. They were not afraid of people, they came to the cafe and walked around as if it was their home. Then, finally, we went to our safari trip that lasted around one hour. We got on this big safari track and our journey began. We drove through savanna, which is a natural habitat of many animals. Among them there are giraffes, zebras, wildebeests, elks, elephants, impalas, buffaloes, crocodiles, hippopotamus, rhinos and lions. We had a cool French-speaking guide. While riding the safari track, it's necessary to watch out the branches, otherwise they can hit you in the face. <laughs> We met a giraffe, but when it saw us, it hid in the bushes. We saw a herd of zebras and antelopes grazing together. The herbivores live in freedom. Lions and crocodiles are in an enclosure.
The hippo was watching us too. After safari, we were brought to a restaurant located on the territory of the park. That area is also very green, clean and gorgeous. The restaurant has a beautiful view on the river. We had a nice lunch there. We ordered local fish and banana leaves, fried bananas, rice with smoked chicken, meat on a skewer, and a salad. We also had a cool company. There are also other activities in the park, like cycling, kayaking, hiking, or riding a zipline. After lunch, we went for a walk. There is also a swimming pool on the territory, but we didn't take swimming suits with us. We took a closer look at the fast-flowing Sally River. It was possible to have a river tour on a boat, but it seemed to be expensive for us. The park is very green with lots of beautiful blooming flowers, and there were avocados growing there. Then the minibus took us back to the parking lot near the cafe where we left our car. There were more cars this time, but still it wasn't crowded. Maybe because we went there on a weekday, on Wednesday. Our trip was very enjoyable. This park is a nice place to get to from Kinshasa after a hectic working week, to relax and be close to nature.